This is my version of any card at any number. Uh, it is totally impromptu. It can be a borrowed deck. There are no gimmicks. The cards can be completely shuffled. I do not need to have the card or the number known. I could leave the room and the effect happens. Cut a chunk of cards off of your packet and put it into your pocket. You're going to cut somewhere, look at and remember the bottom card. And I want to add this, I want to make this especially fair. I want you to do the final shuffle. Well, you just riffle shuffle them, and again, nobody knows what the number is. Push them together, all the way, all the way. and just leave them. Just, just let them, just let them rest there. For the first time, how many cards did you take out? Nine cards. And what card are you thinking of? Four diamonds. The four diamonds. If the four diamonds could be at the ninth position in a deck that you have all shuffled, <sighs> count down for me. Let's see. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Imagine a series of circumstances in which the audience is given complete control of the cards and the coincidences they create. We're each gonna shuffle our, our little packet. I'd like you to just choose one card and drop that down on the table, and then you're gonna cut and bury it with some unknown number. Uh, if I can take the jokers, throw them in the pack. All right, so what was your card? What was your card? Nine of spades. So we need to find the other two. One more shuffle, let's see what happens. Uh, what was your card? Seven of diamonds. Okay. Where the implausible strangely becomes the possible. So you, so you have a number in your mind now. Now I want you to add a suit to that number. Whenever your intuition tells you, you deal one card face down. If that's the four space. Oh my God. I didn't mean to say that. Okay. <laughs> This is Implausibilities.